Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to cut a porthole in a bass drum head that has a, uh, a static cling decal on it. Um, first of all, I'm just going to show you the materials I have. Um, obviously, we have our stove, and we have a wooden cutting board here, and then we have an empty soup can that's about four inches in diameter. Notice I've taken the, the label off the outside of it. And we have our drum head. This is, this is just your typical 22 inch drum head. Notice there's, uh, it's all black. There's no hole in it yet. And I purchased this static cling decal from drumart.com. And uh, they did a really good job. Uh, at printing this decal. Um, from the time I purchased it to the time it got delivered to my house, it was about maybe five days. So they, they're really quick and they do a really good job at printing. Uh, as you can see, this is a static clean decal, so you can pretty much just, you know, peel it right off and move it around. It's, you know, not a dangerous thing to put on because if you screw it up, you can always take it off again. So, um, what I'm going to do, as you can see, I've already applied the decal, and I'm actually going to cut the hole in the head uh, with the decal attached so that I can ensure that the hole lines up perfectly um, on both the decal and the drum head itself. Uh, so here, in just a second, I'm going to shut the camera off and get my workspace ready to go, but eventually what we're going to see is I'm going to cut a hole right about in that location. So one thing to remember when you're cutting a hole in a drum head is you want to keep it uh, no closer no closer to the edge than about two inches. If you get any closer to the edge than about two inches you're going to either tear it or it's going to be really hard to tune. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind and uh, I'm going to shut the camera off and uh, get ready. Okay we're back and uh, I just kind of want to show you my setup real quick before I go through this. Um, so you can kind of see that on this side of my stove, I have the, uh, the wooden cutting board down there, and I'm going to use that as kind of a platform to uh, set my drum head on so that when I'm ready to cut the hole, what I'm going to do is basically, you know, put pressure down with the can on top of this cutting board here and it, you know, it kind of gives you an even surface to work. So I'm going to make sure that this spot right here that I'm cutting is over the top of this wooden area here. So I'm going to line that up very carefully underneath, like that. And then I'm going to make sure that my can over here is nice and hot. Don't burn your house down, but you want it to be really hot so it will uh, melt right through this plastic. Like so. Don't forget your uh, your hot pad or your mitten or whatever you want to use to handle this thing because uh, it's going to be super hot. I don't know if you can uh, see it or not in the camera, but that can over there is actually smoking a little bit, and I. Uh, I probably wouldn't be too concerned about that because you know you have to get it pretty hot to make this work. Um, so you know, just when you're about ready to go, just kind of push down on it, make sure it's really nice and warm. Make sure the can's nice and hot. Feels pretty warm. I can kind of feel it through my glove actually a little bit. And when we're about ready to go, I'm just going to pick the can up and just kind of put it right over the top of this where I want the hole to be, which I've kind of already marked out. And hopefully everything will work. And here we go. Going to kind of put some pressure on it, move it around a little bit. Twist it. 